under the stamp! <laughs> Hi, I'm Game Guy. And um, with that scary intro, it is time for more Let's Play Mario and Luigi, the Superstar Saga. Uh, we're gonna go on a Bean Star hunt. Or rather, we're going to continue our Bean Star hunt, because, um, I missed a thing here, apparently. <laughs> it's pretty miraculous! Um, so yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. Um, I believe... I don't believe I got this yet. Uh, that's a Chuckle Bean. Chuckle Beans are pretty great. Did I go over here at all? This doesn't seem familiar to me for some reason. This doesn't seem familiar to me. No, it doesn't. Um, hello, Sparky. What brings you here to this random platforming section? Platforming sections in a Mario game? Are you mad? This is just not something you do. By the way, if you touch the Sparky, you get sent back to the beginning! Like, well, not the beginning. Apparently, you just get sent back to some sort of checkpoint. Which, uh, makes this far more lenient than, uh, ever. Yes, gotta watch out for the little Sparky dude! Little Sparky dude! Hi, Mole, with the bow tie. Congratulations! You get a thing! I got a gold mushroom. Yay! Yay! I get a gold mushroom, guys! I'm so rich with gold, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yes, now that that has happened, we can move back over to here. I didn't mean to pound Luigi to dust. I meant to uh, pound Mario to boing. No! No! Not boing. Anything but boing. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go. I know basically of the three places I need to go, um, it's a matter of determining determining which one I want. By the way, the fourth pipe is here. <laughs> you know, in case uh, you wanted to know, there is, of course, a thing here. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Also, I walked past one on the way here. I saw it. Do not worry, gentle viewer. I think I'm gonna go and do a specific one first because it's been bugging me and <laughs> ignoring it. Because uh, there's certain things around here in the overworld that I've been ignoring that might be obvious to you. Whether you've played the game before or not. I ignored this one some time ago, didn't I? And then I, I never came back to it. Well, now I finally came back to it. Here I am, back at this thing. Amazing how that works. Um, I need to go somewhere to the north. Somewhere in the northern reaches of space. Well, it's not really space. Wow, dude, you just heal everything, don't you? Pretty sure I hit A. Ow, that wasn't very nice of you. Well, I'll get the excellent someday. Oh, that's fair. As I was saying, there's a Koopa guy over here. I don't know if this is the place I need to go, but there is a place I need to go. How does that happen? You're no slouches. You're no slouches. Ah, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Mm, yes. Oh, that looks like a thing I want. Excuse me, sir! I want your shiny thing! Hey, what's with you two? You can't just waltz up and start talking to my master! You have to do the cha-cha! Or, you know, you, you just, just, I don't know, talk to me first. I don't... Ah, look at you! I doubt in my mind that you've come looking for money! No, there's no doubt in my mind that you've come looking for money! Mm, he doesn't have time to waste on the likes of you. Be off! Off, I say! But we don't want money. We want your shiny thing. Oh, master, master, you mustn't listen. You can't listen. All of this talk is just meant to swindle you out of your money again. It's all lies. Lies! Yeah, you better throw an egg at him. And by an egg, I mean yourself. Physical comedy! Hello. 
You remind me of that one guy who tried to murder me with soda. What's that? There's something on my face. There's egg on your face! <laughs> ah, you say I look like Bubbles, the legendary soda maker. Yes, please don't kill us. Well, that's because I'm... Bubbles! Younger brother! The resemblance is uncanny. I am Bottle. That's also a pun. Younger brother of the legendary soda maker. As you can see, I am rich enough to own my own theater. Oh, of course, obviously. I am the president of the Yoshi Fan Club. This theater was designed by the Yoshi-loving chap specifically for the enjoyment of Yoshis. And for no other reason, I, I guess. I don't know. I, don't, I got no jokes there. What did you want to talk about? Your shiny thing! Give it! Now! Oh, I have a decoration on this sign. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. What is with using the Bean Star piece as a decoration? Come on, guys. Serious. <laughs> yes, of course. Fine. I suppose I could decorate the sign with something else and give that sparkly thing to you. Okay. Yay! No, no, no! You mustn't do it! No! Yeah, hit him with another egg. Just, just don't hit the flowers, please. However, only on one condition. And this sign is my theater's face. No, your, your theater's face is your theater's face. You must find something else that can be used to decorate my grand sign, understand? Why, do you mean neon eggs? That's rather specific. <laughs> um, trade this for seven brilliant colors of neon eggs. Impossible! Master washed up middle aged men such as these could never get the neon eggs! Well, I don't know why you're hitting him now. I mean, he's probably telling the truth. Will the two of you agree to this? When Yoshis eat a particular kind of fruit. Fr food? Fruit. When they eat a particular kind of fruit, they lay neon eggs, or so they say. Inside that movie theater is seven hungry Yoshis. How coincidental. Ah, if you find that particular food and give it to the Yoshis, you'll get neon eggs! Oh, it also means everyone's happy, music note! Right? I suppose. Incredible, Master, thinking not only of yourself, but of all the Yoshis, too! What are we, invisible? Gosh, th this guy. <laughs> Once you're done thanking my master, hurry up and find those neon eggs. Now that you mention it, there's someone in the theater who's well-versed in neon eggs. You should talk to that individual and find out what makes Yoshi's lay the, the, free, the eggs. You know, that, I don't know. It's a Yoshi highs! This is a movie theater. Mm, yes, yes it is. It is indeed a movie theater. Okay, so, they're playing Kirby's story. Uh, they're playing Wario, they're playing this game, and they're playing Legend of Staffy. Okay, so we know what movies they're playing. Alright, I understand. Man, there's so many Yoshis here, and most of them are panting. That's kind of scary. Hello. Indeed, I am the architect who designed this very theater. I am called Feather. Ah, yes, that's a strange name. Is that like the name of a bean or something? Because that would just be hilarious. <laughs> we need to know about neon eggs, I guess. Uh, what? 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 Neon eggs? What? Ah, how did you know that I am a neon egg fiend? That's right, some know me as an architect, and some know me as the intellectual's older brother. But in reality, I'm just an old man who's old. Perhaps. <laughs> I don't understand anything anymore. What? You wanna know uh, what... You wanna, you wanna know what makes the, the Yoshis lay the food, eggs, phone, thing, perhaps? Ah, yes. Bean fruits. Bean fruits are native to Bean Bean Kingdom. They grow underground, perhaps. 
I have this convenient slideshow just for you. First, dig the bean fruit out of the ground. Oh, yes. Then feed the bean fruit you dug up to a Yoshi. And then they will poop out a neon egg. Perhaps. It is the cycle of life. I guess. I don't know. That, that, I guess that assumes that uh, the egg that the Yoshi poops out uh, grows up to be a bean fruit. Then it is a circle. Otherwise, it's a half circle, I guess. But you know, there's nothing wrong with an old man being a neon egg fiend. I've never found a single neon egg in all my life. Oh, well, that's unfortunate for you. I have knowledge gained after such and such. In my head, I have a map that shows the general location of where bean fruits may be. Perhaps. So you know where they all are, you've never found one, and you know exactly what to do to get them. Man, old guy, <laughs> you didn't even try very hard, did you? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I'll show you a map that points to the general location of some bean fruits. I'll put the marks on your map, perhaps. Oh man, look, there's a bunch of bean fruits everywhere! Go to the areas marked in your map and look for suspicious spots surrounded by grass or rocks or... I don't know, maybe blue-colored flowers in the formation of like a square or rectangle or something, I don't know. Just a hunch. If you find such spots, there's no mistaking that a bean fruit lies in the dirt in that spot. By the way, to dig up a bean fruit, you must dig underground once and pop back up. Perhaps, if you're lucky. I doubt you'll be able to do that, though. It doesn't seem like something that general people would be able to do. I mean, you'd pretty much have to have a hammer and smack the other guy into the ground, and then the other guy has to have the capability to pop back out of the ground. But that's just impossible. I hey, where'd you go? So anyway, um... We're back here. In Bean Beanville, it's great, or something, I don't know. Um, I forget. There, there's like a Boo statue somewhere, right? Should probably check that out. So, yeah, uh, the thing I've been kind of ignoring are various spots where the, uh, the bean fruits are hiding. Well, Luigi, you leveled it up! How could you? No! Yes. Wow, I attempted to jump. Wow, I attempted to jump. Wow, you tricked me. I'm a jerk. What was I saying? I no longer even remember. <laughs> um, all I know is I need to go push a statue with my butt. Um, statue, you are far away, and I, I need to do a thing to, to you, or something. Dang it, freaking... <laughs> Great. No, I, I think I was talking about how I've been ignoring certain spots around the outer reaches of the world. The, the rectangular flower circles about. Yes, that is a t the thing I was attempting to say, and I'm still kind of having trouble saying, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't recall where they might be, but they're just around. They are indeed around somewhere in the world. I don't know where, but they are indeed around. Hey, there's that cracked wall over here that I may or may not have pointed out in the past. I can smack it with a hammer and we will succeed in having a, th a fun time. Oh, it looks like it's Mario's turn to go on a mini adventure. Yay! I kind of like that they have these little platforming segments. It, it's kind of a neat little thing. Ow, I fell on spikes. Spikes are bad to fall upon because you might hurt yourself. Possibly. They're, it's not guaranteed that you'll hurt yourself, but it's a very likely possibility. Oh, you're scary. I'm going to wait. 
a moment before I jump into certain danger. This sounds like a plan that will work. Potentially. Congratulations! Excellent job making it here. I got iron pants. What are iron pants? Oops, I switched to Luigi. I didn't mean to switch to Luigi. I wanted to look at the iron pants. Iron pants! Oh. Okay, so that heavy G thing, do you remember the status effect during the, um, the Cacletta fight where I had, like, the, the high gravity or whatever and making my jumps kind of hard to deal with? Yeah. So that basically gives that to you at all times, I believe, or at least at the start of the fight, so I don't know. It's just kind of annoying, I guess. I don't know. Well, that was fun. Um, you know, so now that I have done that, I can stop ignoring the uh, flower spots. And we can move on that way. Stay away from me, Tanumba! Stay away! Nobody loves you! Um, is something over there? Like, I, I just noticed that, like, over here is a thing. Cave. I, I don't remember if I've been in there or not. It's been a while. If I'm remembering right, I just kind of loop around somehow. Ah, yes, I just go this way. Right. I just want to see what's in here. I want to see what's in here. Ah, secret thing. Secret thing! Oh, wow, we're getting a third one, of course, obviously. I don't remember this one, so obviously I just completely missed this. <laughs> I am great at everything I do, what are you talking about? Platforms that move up and down, and sparkies that reside nearby. Congratulations, you got a 1-up. Yay! 1-up. There's also a secret up here. Mm. A delicious secret over the wall. Are we gonna find the warp zone? Are we gonna go to world Four from World 1? I got the high-end badge. It's a badge that is at the high end of technology. I don't know. High-end badge. Power up. Power up! Ugh. Makes more BP, though. Um, let's see. So Mario has a picture of Luigi that he keeps with him at all times. Not sure if that's a good investment or not, because... Again, it's like... Well, I realize the power-up status may be better than the uh, actual statistic, but I'm not exactly sure how that works. Furthermore, it may or may not be temporary anyway, so... Lock a pee, you got in my way! Ah! These guys, I swear, I will never get their action command down, ever. As I was jumping, <laughs> um, oh yeah, here we go, the beginning of a new friendship. In the ground you must go, for bean fruits, you know. Also, there seems to be a ledge of some sort there. Yeah, some mysterious sort of thing. A mysterious sort of thing. I'm gonna go in over here now. This leads to the desert, right? No, it doesn't. This doesn't lead to the desert at all! <laughs> I forgot about this area. This area is like, no major significance. It's just kind of here. There's stuff here, though. I will leave it a mystery for now. Next time, we're going to explore the mystery zone. A place that I named as such right now, at this very moment. Yay! 